Well, greetings everyone! Welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2. I'm your host, RS2484. And again, uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody. I um, hope everybody had a safe and wonderful Christmas. Um, I had a great Christmas. Um, it, was, it was pretty awesome. I ate too much. Got, got something that I really wanted. So, uh, moving on, uh, well, New Year's fixing to come up. and. Uh, so that means new year, new things. So, um, so anyway, so let's go. Uh, I thought I thought this time we will just go do some driving. I mean, I know I've been uh, I've been working a little bit on the Luxar uh, playthrough. Um, first four parts are out now. Let's see how much fuel I have. Uh, Okay. All right. So that doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> oh, you know to hell with it. Let's go. Let's go to uh, United Kingdom this this time around. Huh? Why the hell not? Moving on, hopefully we are not going to get run into too much traffic. Okie dokie. So, well, I hope everybody enjoyed my little, um, my little, uh, I guess I would say two Christmas episodes of this game. Um, I, I am sorry that I had to abruptly end that first long part, like I was in, what was like an hour and, uh, hour and 17 minutes, I think. Um, yeah, I'd, uh, yeah, I had some personal stuff I had to do, so um, I, I didn't really intend for it to be briefly interrupted like that, but it was, so. Okay, so in the next series of videos, um, I would like to, if I can, uh, play around with uh, some of the recruitment see if I can purchase me another truck and uh, um, see if I can find me another garage I can uh, open up and see if I can play around with that and see how that works So, well, next year, um, what you're going to see on this channel, of course, is more of this, uh, more of this game, um, Euro Truck Simulator 2. Um, I will have, I'd say, hour-long videos of the original Euro Truck Simulator. I'll be doing, um, I'll be trying to do one of those at least once a month, starting next year. Because um, that game, right now, for me, is on the back burner right now. Because I want to get these newer games out first. Um, let me see, uh, well, the, um, I'm going to continue on with the Luxar series, um, Luxar, the original one, uh, is going to be, uh, 
I'm going to be finishing up that one. Um, probably it's not going to take me that long. Um, I'm actually going through the stages quite uh, uh, quite well right now with, you know, with uh, me dying very little. So, um, so I really don't think that's necessarily going to be a problem because I'm, I'm pretty much, I'm, uh, I'm comfortable with Luke's R, so I know how the, uh, system works, but, uh, I was going to do Z the, um, Zumba series, which is, um, Zuma, I'm sorry, um, which is similar, except you're, um, shooting from the center, so, yeah, um, that game I have yet to master, so, um, if I ever get around to mastering it, I will definitely, um, I'll definitely show you guys that game, but, uh, yeah, but for right now, no, because I'm, I, uh, in later stages, I mean, it gets pretty hard, so, um, it's the same style, uh, where you, um, you, uh, you, uh, shoot out colored spheres, match three, you know, in a row, in a, uh, you know, destroy all the, uh, rows of spheres coming at you, um, but, your shooter is a frog, and it's in the center. It's in the center, so it's not like on the uh, bottom of the screen. It's like in the center of the of the level, so it's really difficult for it. Uh, you know, it gets really difficult later on. But uh, I don't know. I might show off that game. I'm gonna have to. Um, I might have to download it and play through it and make sure that I can do it properly before I show it to y'all. So. Um, So yeah, that's why I kind of wanted to go, you know, that route for next year was doing all the Luxar games. Because I'm pretty comfortable with those. There's Luxar, there's Luxar, Al um, Luxar Almond Rising, Luxar 2, Luxar 5th um, uh, pass, uh, Passage. I think it's one of the newest ones. You know, there's Luxar, t you know, Luxar 2 and Luxar 3. And then there's Luxar Evolved. Which is interesting. Um, oh god. Um, oh man, it's dark out here. <laughs> Can't really see much of anything. It's, of course, it's well, almost midnight on Tuesday in the game. So, yeah. I have to admit the steering's not too good in this one particular track. I mean, I don't know if it's because I'm using the keyboard that it just, it just feels that way. I don't, honestly don't know. So. Okay, we'll be taking this exit. Yep, so Luxar is definitely going to be on, on the map. Um, I have to, I'm going to have to play a few other games to see um, uh, if there's any others that I have. What? I don't know. For some weird reason, I think my...
looks like we won't be running into any gas stations anytime soon. I kind of would like to top off, but... Yeah, like, that's gonna happen. Yeah, this is kind of freaky because you can't really, you can't really see in front of you. Ooh, I'm not liking that. <laughs> I know it's only 60 kilometers an hour down this road, but really, eh. Well, don't worry folks, we're not going to be running out of fuel because, you know, still got, you know, quite a bit of fuel left in the, um, from our last haul, so I think we should be okay, but I just like to top off before we, uh, go over the United Kingdom. United Kingdom, I, I warn y'all, I do get kind of, it's backwards because you drive on the left side of the road and it's just like, oh man, it just confuses me. I don't know why, I mean, it's just such a simple change, but for some reason it screws me up real bad, so I don't know. Gee, that was close. Yeah, going downhill is actually pretty easy. Just going uphill really sucks because you're because you're going really slow. Because with all the weight that you're uh, that you're carrying in the back of you, it's it's difficult because especially on those slopes that are really at a tight angle. When you got a very long load, you gotta watch because um, you do you can't take damage when you go off road. So. Um, like a tight turn right here if you take it too fast you're going to go on to the uh, you're going to go on to the pavement the uh, unpaved area right there and it's going to cause damage to your cargo you know it won't register it but when you look on uh, when you go to serv you know, services in the city um, you'll see that you'll have uh, damage to your tires so that's how you know your cargo might not take damage but your uh chassis and your wheels will so just be careful what you do as far as your driving habits because yeah I mean because stuff can be damaged over time yeah and I can't see a damn thing on this road so
check this out. There it is. That's disappointing though, it doesn't have the um doesn't have a horn or nothing because well when trains pass by when uh, a crossing like this they did it sound two long long whistles a short and a long that is just a um, that's just code for um, the trains coming you know to, you know clear the uh, clear the road oh great gas station yeah no that truck other truck will get in front of me that's that's fine I need I need to give you some fuel Okay, so 380 liters and 555 euros. Eh, that's a small price to pay. So I really hope everybody's enjoying this game. Um, I, I sure am. Now, if you want more information on it, all you have to do is you go to um, SCS Soft website, it will just scssoftsoft.com, or you can go to Euro Truck Simulator 2.com, and you can download a free demo, and uh, or you can purchase it. You can do a, a digital purchase, or you can have a um, physical copy sent to you. Now here's what I suggest is, uh, concerning that is that um, is I highly suggest to get a physical copy because your digital downloads and stuff can be you know if it gets lost I mean I'm sure that SCS Soft has some sort of recovery thing for that but just to be on the safe side you probably would want a physical copy sent to you because it's the easiest thing to keep track of you know but you know, stuff happens to your computer, you know, with, you know, you know, because you might lose some files or something might get corrupted and stuff and you'd have to, uh, for some reason you'd have to delete it, so, I'm just saying. I don't know about y'all, but I'll be glad when it turns to daylight. <laughs> so it's hard to uh, drive on these country roads late at night, but it really gives you a great simulation of what it's really like to drive on these country roads. I mean, it really is pitch black. Because, if you think about it, there are no lights in this area. So, I mean, it's, it's, all, uh, it's all farmland and stuff, so... I should only be going this fast. Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> I am I am going 85 kilometers a mile kilometers an hour in the, in the 60. So, <laughs> well, I guess that's my own fault if I if I crash and burn, right? So, yeah. Not the smartest thing to do, but 
I mean, it's three in the morning in the game. There's really nobody out here, so thinking, well, maybe I can, you know, and kill off some time, you know, that. Yeah, it looks like we're going uphill again. You can tell on the map, if you look at the map, how it's um, sort of 3D like. You can see that the lines are going slightly up. That lets you know that's an incline or a decline. So, it'll show you if it's level, if there's a steep hill, if there's um, a steep downgrade. Uh, it'll show you by the uh, angles of the uh, red lines in the GPS. So. Okay, well, it looks like we're fixing to go back onto maybe another road or something. I don't know. It looks like. It's like it might be another highway. the truth I know where the fuck we're at right now but uh yeah um this okay I don't know honestly where the hell we're at right now okay it wants me to go Oh, just, um, oh, another thing is, I'm, I'm, I do plan on getting the, uh, DLC for this, the, uh, what is it, the Going East, I think. So, I am going to be getting that for this game. I'm just going to be, uh, probably just going to wait till after the holidays to get that, so. Well, it looks like the sun is finally rising, so. Oh, it looks like this is like some sort of road that goes parallel to it. And then we're just going to have to turn left and back onto the... Okay. Alright then, well... Okay, it looks like it wants us to turn left. So, they're going to be turned left onto this interstate, whatever the hell it is. Because I don't know. Right, we are back on the interstate, finally.
right. Looks like we're coming on to another bridge. Moving along. Now each episode I'm going to do um, just a random cargo. I'm not going to be doing the one that takes the longest. I mean, I'm thinking, well, it's the holidays. That's what I'm going to do, you know. So. If you're kind of hearing that err noise every now and then, you know what? It's actually it's that um, watt drop. It's on the right side, right there. It's just a white guy. Would be drivers up. And we are exiting. Okay. <laughs> Gotta slow down here. Alright. Okay, we can sell right now to full full speed. Yeah, what I'm driving right now is a majestic. Um, it is a, it's a, it has a 12 speed, um, automated manual in it, so, transmission in it, so, just in case you're wondering. I guess automated manual is just the way, you know, way to go these days, because it really is a lot more efficient than a traditional manual. Because traditional manuals, you have to shift the gears yourself. So, um, the uh, points where you ship uh, gears may not be the most efficient way. Now, with an automated manual, um, it's, that's done by computer, so um, it's going to find the most efficient uh, shift point, you know, depending on the RPMs and how hard you're pressing the accelerator. So, it's going to find the most efficient route, so, you know, you'll get the uh, maximum amount of fuel efficiency out of it so that's why automated manuals have more better gas mileage than the regular manuals just in case people were wondering as do the timing with the gear ratios and stuff so you know Gee, that was real random. <laughs> I mean, just car fucking stopped in the middle of the road. Well, either assimilating the stalled vehicle or uh, I need to, I need to get off that white line there. That's my truck is just waving, fucking waving in and out, you know. And this Majestic I will drive for a while. Um, I'll probably put about 10,000 kilometers on it. And then I might buy me something else and I'm going to um, hire someone to take over this truck. Because so I really like to give me a Volvo. Because so I really want to get one of those. Uh, from my fleet, so. And I'm thinking there would be maybe 10,000 mi 10, kilometers or something. I might, I might switch out. Because having the same truck, you know, I don't know. So I, I just want to show things off. Shit. Hopefully Volvos will have a slightly better steering. Well, it looks like we'll be exiting once again. It's like we'll be going into a smaller road, so. God dang, stay off the freaking white line. Now look 
thankfully my my load is really not that not that wide or long so uh, so it's pretty easy to get up these hills but be really cautious when you come to intersections like this in the game because you got to uh, look both ways well, uh, well I know they're turning, but you never know. Check the temper game, I may say, I'll fuck it, you know? So, yeah, that's, that's pretty good, alright. Really heavy traffic. <laughs> so, alright, well, it looks like we're good here, so. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep on rolling. And now they won't turn in front of you. All right, I know. That truck was like, oh, holy fuck, yeah. No, it's, it's okay. I know, I've got to change the angle on this. Hold on. Okay, there we go. That's better. Switch hands. All right. So I'm I'm driving with my right here. I'm got my hands on the right here with my arrows, and my left hand I just have outside drink my coffee and um, now these curves may not look too steep, but uh, look too bad, but if you really do make that turn like too fast, you'll end up going in the opposite traffic and might might hit someone, so You know, it'd be really cool if they, um, if they did, um, 18 wheels of steel, um, you know, like an American version of this, you know. I'm, I, I know you got 18 wheels of steel across America and, like, Holland and stuff like this, but have a design like this, you know. Beautiful landscapes, you know. Just same type of, uh, navigation system, you know. I mean, that'd be awesome to make it as detailed as this. I mean, that's probably what they're doing for um, the next game that they're coming out with. So, hopefully whenever I get my hands on that one, I, I'd love to show that to y'all. So. I have no idea why this game really loves these small roads, but I guess in Europe there's a lot of small little roads like this that cars had to travel through and trucks do, so I guess I really can't seem to complain too much.
Yeah, this truck is going exactly 60. So. Uh oh. It's like rain's coming. Now this is a choice, you really don't have to do it. But I like to drive I like to drive my lights on at all times. You don't have to do it in the game, but uh only really at night time and it's helpful when it rains too. But I'm just I don't know, it's just a habit for me. So Well looks like we're fixing a turn anyway, so hopefully this truck won't turn in front of us. Looks like that's what we call a little bit of a uh, I guess we're going to Rotterdam. Right, we seem to be uh, making some pretty good progress here. We've got about 380 kilometers until our destination. So it looks like we got off a country road and now we're back on a uh, interstate. So the interstates, I'd say, are pretty fascinating in Europe. I mean, I don't know this actual depiction of what they are, but um, there's a lot of country driving. <laughs> a lot of country driving. Yeah. I seriously don't need fuel on my ride. Now I remember part of this, the uh, distance there, is it also you gotta remember the, uh, we have to go and take a ferry across, so. You gotta uh, take that into account. Yeah. It's real wobbly. See? It's probably because of the rain. I don't know. See, my, yeah, the thing is, my truck won't stay straight. <laughs> I don't know, I guess I'm the only one that finds that weird. <laughs> Alright then. I'm just veering into the other, other, other lane, so I don't lock it.
slow down here. Oh, we're in Rotterdam. Okay. I was wondering why the hell you were slowing down for. You know, it's really helpful now since I downloaded that update finally that uh, it shows you the uh, speed limits on the GPS. <laughs> so it's like. So, you know, you can avoid getting a uh, speeding ticket, which really helps. Hey, that's not turning in front of me, okay? So, yeah, I might be a little slow, but... Okay, it still says 50, but thing that's increased to uh, 100, so there it goes. I think it's a little slow. <laughs> now, I've visited Rotterdam, I think, quite a few times, so I think, like, oh, finally the rain's finally ending. So it looks like we're getting close to the docks. So this is, uh, yeah, it's. Yeah, yeah we're getting really close to the docks. Yep, this is the docks. I really haven't, we haven't visited here in quite a few episodes. So I don't mean a lot to go across because it, you know, you know, you know, it costs me money. So, that's why I normally don't like to do it, so. Oh, what you had to do here? Well, I took that, yeah, I took that thing a little wide, but they're safe and sorry. <laughs> part is relatively easy, you know, we just drive in here and Wow, 960 euros. All right then. <laughs> Well, I'm getting, I'm getting paid 24,000 euros for this. Let's see here. I feel where the hell I'm at. Um, okay, so. I always have the most difficulty with this because it's backwards. Great because because my because my, my things on the freaking. Oh, I'm so looking out with this right now. <laughs>
48. Huh? <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> I really do hate him. Okay, this is a forty-eight. Okay. Now why the hell is it saying forty-eight? <laughs> Sixty-four. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's very specific. <laughs> I don't know—is that a European thing or is that? <laughs> I was like, "Oh, man, that uh, okay." <laughs> that's that's a little crazy. Uh, seriously, it's saying sixty-four. <laughs> Is that some sort of error or something? It's weird. Okay. Well, the thing is, it's so specific. I just don't want to go above 64. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you think about it. It's like... Damn, this is quite specific. I'm like, I really don't want to go. Yeah, I don't really want to go more than that. So, ninety-seven. Um. Okay. I just realized I am up right next to a wall. See. can't go above 97, but I honestly think that's going to be an issue, but I don't think my truck can go above 90, so. Oh, 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 God. I always freak out with these things. I hate them. This is why I don't really like driving uh, to um, United Kingdom that much. Because their highway system just backwards to me. I just, I don't know. I guess I'm just one, not, I'm just not used to it. Around me, please. Fuck.
there's 64 again. <laughs> well, I just thought this like I was 64. discovered a new a new town right then. sounds good to me why I don't deal with <laughs> you know a kingdom that much because I don't do not like those things. Okay. Man, these roads are really tight. Okay, we arrived at our destination, folks. About fucking time. I'm just gonna skip that. Woo! All right, folks. Well, that about do it for this time. So, I really appreciate y'all for watching, and I will see y'all next time.